So here's the situation. The front door needs to be opened up from three feet to four feet. Boom! What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joannis or Joe Hitago. I'm a Sierra Leonean American living in West Africa. If you want to know what my fourth week back in Sierra Leone was like, then this is the video for you. All right, cool guys, so we are in week 73, my fourth week back in Sierra Leone, and there's a ton of stuff to go over. So I'm gonna give you a quick brief synopsis, and then we'll jump right into the content. So first things first, we're gonna have a site visit, then we have a second site visit, and I'll explain to you, I'll explain to you why in a second. And then lastly, I went with my contractor to go look at uh, toilets and tiles and sinks, um, and all of that kind of stuff. Um, to determine what makes sense to put in the guest house, AKA boys quarters. So um, we'll jump right into it, let's go. Okay, first things first is the gate install. So uh, the guy who is the welder who creates the gate, who built the gate, um, did a pretty good job and he had the gate kind of sitting at his property. The issue is when you have a big truck like that carrying something and you're going into like, like one of the mini suburbs, you get stopped by the police because they always wanna try to get some money from you because they feel like if this is a commercial operation, you probably have some extra cash because you're, you're, you're going to do something for work-related things. So the guy wanted to leave early, but he couldn't find a vehicle to get him there to begin with. And it just became like a thing where it was like over and over and over again. He kept trying to get a vehicle, couldn't get one, couldn't get one, couldn't get one. So anyway, we still went out to the property anyway, um, and we were waiting for him there. It took forever for him to get there, but he finally got there. They started doing the work. I had to leave before they were finished. So um, anyway, just, just check out that process because at least I go through some of the things that were the updates that were happening on the property at that point. So why don't you check that out first and then we'll get back to the second site visit. So check it out. All right, guys, I just woke up. Man, I'm about to go to the site right now. Um, they're about to put the gate on, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna film them putting the new sliding gate on the on the fence or on our wall. All right, let's check it out. I thought I'd give you a little bit of what Freetown looks like, the traffic, what people put on their cars, what the traffic actually looks like. That's the railing for the gate when the gate comes. That's the railing that will hold the gate when the gate goes all the way down, opens up here. The front door needs to be opened up from three feet to four feet. Four, four feet three inches or four feet two inches? Four feet two inches. So along this, along these brick li or block lines, and then the same thing here along these block lines so that couches and materials will be able to come inside here because it needs to be a little bit bigger. What we're gonna do on the roof here is we're gonna put zinc around the top here, just kind of like to sit up on the top of the roof so that um, when we put curtains, when there's like a, another roof covering it, there's gonna be another roof over top of it. We're gonna have curtains coming down. Okay, those curtains are gonna need to be able to stay stable, but the only thing that'll do that is if you have something down on the ground, on the sorry, on top of the roof, that kind of just protects it so it's not just flapping out in the wind, right? So they'll be on the inside, and that way we can try to keep water from coming inside, but we also need to plaster the rooftop as well. So then that way there is somewhere to stay in upstairs when you're on top of the rooftop. Let's go back and take a full look of the full property so you can see it because it's hard to see from this angle. Let's do that next. So this is the full size of it. It's the front entrance. That's the first, be that's the bedroom that's gonna be in the front. The bedroom in the back is here. There's a bathroom on the other side, living room there. This is the full size. This is the full size of the property. So the next, plaster in the roof, plaster in the sides. We have to put guards on the outside um, so that it can be protected. Even without the doors and the windows, the guards, the metal guards or iron guards that are gonna be outside, you can't get inside. So it'll be like, um, you've seen it. Yeah, exactly. So protecting the building. So 
It's just the full size of the building. So here's the situation. Um, the welder who was supposed to come put in the gate, he couldn't get a vehicle this morning. He got another vehicle, couldn't get that vehicle. So now we're waiting. I can't wait all day for him. I just can't. So um, I've been up here at the site, haven't eaten yet. We've been up here already an hour and there is no, there is no indication of when this driver, this guy, the welder is gonna get here. So right now we're just standing around waiting for him. Well, finally a vehicle can actually drive onto the property. That was something we couldn't do before because of the issues with the, um, the way the land was set up. But now vehicles can come up here. Um, and there's a lot of dirt on the land as you can see. All this came from the bodos and came from some of the stuff that was done inside the, yeah, the property here. So um, a lot of the stuff came from inside there. So anyway, um, it looks like this welder is not gonna, he's, he's, he's intending or he's insistent on getting this thing done today, but he has no idea when he's gonna be able to get here. Um, it is now, what time is it? Let's take a look at the time. It is now 12.04 p.m. You guys see it's 12.04 p.m. We got here at 10 o'clock. We were supposed to get here at nine o'clock. Um, we've been waiting for this guy and he wasn't, he hasn't been able to arrive. He hasn't even gotten a vehicle yet. And he's a good 30 minutes away from wherever he's going to come from. So I'm not gonna be able to stay here all day. So hopefully my contractor is gonna get a good enough video of the process of them installing the gate. Right now we have this generator that he'll have to use to weld everything on the gate because he's gonna need a power source. There's no power here locally right now. So he's gonna use a generator which is on this truck. Um, and then that generator is going to be used to power all the welding materials to be able to attach the gate to the fence. So that's where we are right now. So that's the generator there. The Paul's moving. So when we first moved in here, well, when I first moved in, when we first set everything up, remember the vehicles could not come up inside the property because of the way things were structured. Now that we have the little ramp down there, the cement ramp that you can see the corner of, the cement cement ramp there, vehicles can now drive in and onto the property. So this sand that's here, no longer they need to use kind of the um, assembly line method. They can just drop it off. So here's the vehicle going out now. See, having that cement ramp is super critical. And also opening up the gate so that vehicles can get inside was a critical move so we had to open this up much wider to 18 feet you see how easy it was for him to back out and to be able to come in so he didn't have to do like a three-point turn or anything he could just drive right in that's what we're gonna have to do moving forward uh, that's what we're gonna be able to do with vehicles moving forward from now on all right and this is the generator here Paul has There's the wire underneath it. So this is the generator that is gonna be used to that's the generator that's gonna be used to weld the gate, the sliding gate, the black sliding gate that's gonna go here. So once the guys arrived, they were starting to put the fence in and they were struggling a little bit. I mean, so as I remember, the track was on the ground, so they had to, to figure out how to put the track on the ground. Now, we don't use many devices, right? I mean, it's mostly all humans and uh, willpower, really. And so they had to do some lining up of the gate on the track. They're using this wooden thing to just ensure that everything is sitting up properly. Each person is working to lift it. Now you can see with the wheels on it, it's actually sliding. The door is actually sliding. So we got to a point where the door was sliding, which is great because obviously that's the main objective, right? You want to make sure that the door is sliding. And so you see the opening that they're holding there on the right hand side. That's where the pedestrian door will be so that you don't have to slide the gate every time somebody's walking in and out. You only need to slide the gate when a car is coming through. So yeah, I mean, this is what it looked like when they first put it on which is a success in my opinion because you know I had waited all this time for them to get there and we finally got the gate up you know this was no easy feat as I mentioned before 
you know, this process of getting the gate was just, it was a lot of work, but we finally got there. So now from this side, what you see is they're actually shoveling around the gate because what they're gonna need to do is put cement next to it to ensure that the gate doesn't fall at all and that anybody can't go underneath. So as of right now, there's some space underneath there. So they were shoveling around there just to make sure that the gate closes all the way. And then they're going to add some cement, um, which I'll show you in a little bit. But they end up adding some cement there so that it all, it all ends up sitting on the, the track properly and that it continues to slide. So here you just see some pictures of what the process looked like um, when they were actually trying to put the, the tracks on and, and get everything set up right properly. They had to set up some tracks so that it stays on something as it slides, right? It can't just be a sliding gate. It actually has to stay on a track and there needs to be a stopping point at the top and at the bottom on either side. And so this is what you see here is what the finishing product end up looking like. And then at the very top, they needed to add something to the top to make sure that it actually stops there. Now here, what you see is we actually had to build a stopper at the end of the, um, the gutter. Now this is the gutter in the back of the property that had a whole bunch of dirt in it. So they just went through and basically just dug out all the dirt. So that's what you're seeing here. There was a bunch of dirt in the gutter. It was completely full. So now you see it looks empty. So like um, right next to the wall there there's a gutter it's kind of hard to see um, because there was so much dirt in there but that gutter was completely full of dirt and debris and so you see what they're doing is they're going through and shoveling all the dirt out of the gutter so that when the rainy season comes the water just rolls all the way through there so the water doesn't sit on the property anymore it comes in from the back of the property there's a gutter on the side and it goes all the way out now this is what the building looks like plastered we finally plastered it and then this is what it looks like now with the stoppage of the drainage at the end of the gutter outside the property now as you look outside they finally finished putting um the the walls up and um the the tracks and then again more more plastering of the the guest house all right and lastly i went with my contractor to go meet with a, a guy she's an indian owner of a tile. I guess they sell tiles, sinks, toilets, they sell everything. So um, they're kind of a one-stop shop for everything. I had already been um, quoted the prices for everything, but this was just to determine which toilets do we want, which kind of sinks do we want. Um, and so all of that was done on this trip, which kind of tiles for the sink, um, uh, you know, in, in the kitchen, around the top of the kitchen, what kind of tiles we want on the floors in the house, what kind of tile do you want in the bathroom floors, what kind of tile do you want in the showers? All of that had to be done in this one trip. And so um, I went to this place, we chose all of it. So you'll get a chance to see it, so check it out. All right guys, we're on our way to take a look at some of the tiling and maybe doors and windows and stuff. Um, it's in the garbage area. Uh, so yeah, check it out. I was here too. These are wall tags. For the kitchen or where? This is the kitchen. Yeah, this is all for kitchen, right? No, this one. No, it depends where you want it. This one specifically for kitchen or dining. Yeah. I mean, I think I only need I don't even know if we really need much tiles in the kitchen. Maybe like just small tiles. In the, on the walls. On the walls, yeah. Yeah, there's. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, this is for the ground, right? This is the floor tiles. Um, you want to get it? Huh? I mean, what are the prices for all of these? This, this is for what? Floor? So, no, this for floor. Oh, no, sorry, this for wall. 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 These are wall tiles. Okay, what? Well. Cartoon. Six pieces inside. Yeah. 135. Six. How much? 135. For six? For six, yeah. Okay. okay. 135 for six. How many do you think we would need? Uh, I will not say now. We tied our way. Okay, and we should probably measure them too, right? Yeah. So we know the size? Tyler, we need to tell me that when you look at the area. Okay. I will know exactly how much So for floor tiles, you have plenty of these. Um, we can maybe do these in the bedroom. Yeah, the two bedrooms. The two bedrooms can have these. 
This is actually better. This is better for everywhere. Oh, this is 26. Oh, so this is more expensive. No, the, the point is the quantity. It only has 26. <laughs> I see. Because you, you needed a tile that we cover yeah. every area. Maybe we choose this for the sitting room. It's yes. brighter. Yes. We need a brighter yeah. color for the sitting room. Yeah. I mean, the kitchen net is white. And they, they yeah. I see. So that's what I'm saying. Then I we prefer use this for the two rooms. Okay, that might work. And then the so. toilet, we choose another type. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. We choose another type for the toilet. Better. I just want to, yeah, this is better. Just this to, is good. Yeah. This is for floor. Yeah, this is for floor. For the floor, but what about for the walls in the in the bathroom? In the bathroom, yeah. bathroom walls. Do you have tiles for that? You have something that can... So this would be good for the bathroom walls. For the bathroom walls. And then this is good for the floor and the bathroom, yes. No, this is for the wall. This is for the wall? Yeah. The wall, this is for floor. Yeah. It has grip on it. This one. Chin rice. So this for the bathroom walls, this for the floor. The floor. Um, yeah, those are the options. Let me take a picture. So, take a picture of this. All right, so bathroom walls, bathroom floor. It cannot be specific. But do we have a, a smaller sink this around this another, size? Another one. Or this it maybe? Smaller, like corner. So that's what the sink looks like without all of the extras. But it's, it's going to need to be that size or, or this size, which is the corner. Um, because we need something small for the size bathroom. So this is the preferred toilet um, because the opening is a little bit bigger so the toilet will be this just looking at it or this one actually yeah this is a super type it's a little bit bigger yeah it actually does look a little bigger so maybe this is the one in terms of this size the because this is what I'm looking at. This size is the same? Okay. Well, um, this one is this one's better, so let's go with this one. Because this one's bigger. We have this installed. Okay. okay, so we'll go with this one. So this is the one we're gonna go with. This is going to be for the kitchen walls. This is going to be for the living room and dining room floor. This is going to be for the bedroom floor. And, um, and then this is going to be for the bathroom wall. And then, and then this for the bathroom floor. All right, cool. So what did you guys think of the, the colors and the tiles that I chose? Would you choose those tiles? Would you have chosen other colors? Um, what do you think? What do you think of the pricing? He gave me some prices for each one. Um, just what do you think about it overall? What would you guys have done color-wise in the bathroom, in the kitchen, in the living room, all of that? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. I definitely want to hear. All right, guys, on to the next. All right, so, so those were some of the updates that you can see that were happening. As you could see, the, the guy got there super late, so um, they started doing the work and I had to go. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's go back to the site where I can give you like a full explanation, a detailed explanation of all the work they had done um, with putting the new uh, gate on, fixing the gutter in the front because of the issues with water, um, you know, everything that they had to do to heighten the gate and all of that. You guys are gonna check that out. So take a look. All right guys, so we're on our way to the site. I wanna do a, another look through. We're gonna take a look at the, uh, the gutter updates that they've made, uh, some of the plastering they've done. And then um, one last look, actually, at the um, the fence and the gate now that it's been updated. I haven't been back since the gate's been put on, so I want to see how it looks, how it works, open it up, all of that stuff. So we'll check all that out. We'll check all of that out. All right. See you there. All right, guys, so we're back at the property once again. A couple of changes that we made since the last time I was here. Number one, we had to add this to the gutter. So if you remember, 
uh, last year, we were talking about all the damage that the rainwater was doing coming from this side gutter that we originally did here. So this was done under my previous contract. We did this side gutter. What was happening though was the water, was, when this wasn't here, the water was coming all the way down here and going back onto the street. So it really defeated the purpose. So uh, my new contractor added this here so that when the water comes down with heavy pressure, it hits here and then it goes down the main gutter all the way down. So it'll no longer disrupt the street. If you look down at the ground, you can see all of the stuff that was in the gutter kept coming here and then it kept going down in the street. So now this won't happen anymore. It will just hit here and go down. Um, and then the other thing that we did was for the gate. So remember they had to open the gate to 18 feet to get everything started, which means they had to mess with the pillars a little bit and they had to raise them up so that they can keep everything on this track. So at the top here, they increased the size of the, the top pillar here so that it can house the, the, the guardrails for the gate, as you can see up here in the corner. And then the same, yeah, so you can see it up here in the corner, right? There's a guardrail for the gate so that that way this, this houses it so it slides open. This is, a, this is a sliding gate. And then on this side, it's the same thing. So they had to make a brand new pillar built the pillar here and then the same thing they added some stuff to the top here and then the same thing there's a guardrail on the side on the inside here so that this stays on a track so it slides open and close um, and so we made it so that it's a sliding gate because there's not a lot of space to open it inwards so when it slides it doesn't take up any space and then of course you need to have a pedestrian walkway right so we don't need to slide the gate open for people to walk in and out you can just walk in and out through this door all right, so now we're gonna open the gate so you see what the gate looks like. Full up boy, my caretaker driver slash does everything. So he's opening the gate. See, so this is a sliding gate. See, it slides on that track down there. Goes all the way down to the end. And now you can open and drive in. So remember, this place had a temporary tin gate. That material was what the gate was sitting in front of this place for about a year. Now we have this sliding gate. So it slides, and you see the pedestrian door there opening. So this is how the gate slides on. It stays on that track, and it slides, and it comes all the way across, and then it closes. And then it, it closes into that frame there. It didn't even close into the frame. Look, look at them. Another inside. Uh-huh. And I like that. Uh huh. Now that that's how you do it. And then what locks it is that little thing that goes down into the hole there. All right, cool. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the plastering. So let's go up and look. So if you remember before, this was just the block. So this side is what the whole thing looked like before. You remember this? So now they started doing plastering. It looks like this on the outside. We can do this on the roof too but they're plastering all of these and all the walls will have plaster before they do any painting or anything like that. So you get a layer of plaster before you um, start to do the painting. All right, let's go inside. So they've also started plastering here too, on either sides of the walls here. So they've done a good job. Even the ceiling inside here, they've started the plaster work. So this is gonna be plastered. It's, so you see the difference between here and here. So the layer of plastering, it's a thick layer that goes on top of the blocks. Um, and then you paint over top of this. So there's like extra layers of protection outside. So everything around the house will have this. The reason why this isn't done all the way here is because they have to add a door here. They need to open this up. So this door, the main door needs to be open from this line all the way up it needs to be open a little bit wider because you got to be able to get couches and bed frames and things like that through here so you need to have a wider door frame the contractor to do that all right let's go inside so if you remember the last time when we were here we were talking about how all of this was protruding outwards right um the guy who put in the the wiring here didn't do a good job of pushing it in far enough and then, so when they put the cement over top of it, it was protruding out. So they had to chip away at it to move it all. Then they had to line all the cords in there properly. They're lined up and so they even opened it up here a little bit. So they're not all lined up side by side instead of being stacked on top of each other to come out this way. So it's like seven of these things lined side by side. So now it's more flush 
So when it comes time to plaster this, it'll just look like a flat wall instead of everything protruding out the way it was before. So that was the major update we had to do here. Um, and that's everything for now. That's it. Okay, so they have begun plastering in the room a little bit. Again, you can see the layer of plaster, the difference. So they've begun the, the plastering process. You can see it up here as well. You can see the difference between where the blocks are and the plastering. Um, yeah. So this, so this is what the walls would look like before they get painted. They keep the sand inside now instead of outside because of the rainy season. But look, this place will get some good sunlight. And they've also, they've also now opened this up to add a window. So remember before, this is what I was saying, this place needed a window and um, because it was just so dark in here. So now they've added the window here as well. So we have a window in the little kitchenette area. We now have a window. All right, so those are some of the updates that we did with the gate and everything. On to the next. So that is it. That is everything that happened in my fourth week in Sierra Leone, week 73 of my time here on the continent. Um, a lot got done. Let me know what you guys think of everything. The tiles, uh, and then lastly, the site visits, the two site visits. What do you guys think about those updates that are happening there? Progress is being made, as you can see. But what do you guys think about it? All right, guys, that's everything. If you know anybody who's planning to move or visit Sierra Leone, make sure you share this video with them. Make sure you hit that thumbs up so that everybody knows that you like it. Comment on anything that we talked about so far. And of course, if you are not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out. And with that, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.